and as the home team, we just felt our uh, obligation to really, uh, really carry the flag for NFL internationally. And, and here we're in a supportive role as well, but a little differently. Mark, do you think that an NFL team here would work? Do the owners feel that it eventually would work here? Or? I think so. I think it can. I, you know, there's a lot of logistics to it. A lot, a lot of things have to be worked through. But one thing for sure, uh, this being our tenth tenth year doing it, 26 teams have gone over here. I think the uh, knowledge of the game and the fan base here has grown tremendously. Um, and and now the last two seasons, uh, the Sunday London games have been uh, broadcast on free television on BBC. I think that's uh, given it more exposure. Millions of fans have been watching it. So uh, we're getting to a point where that could potentially be the case. But right now we're focused in on our game Sunday. That's what our focus is. Would a, t would a team be at a, dis at a disadvantage in free agency? Because I don't know how many players would want to play over here. Well, there's a, there, there are a host of issues that, that come along with it. And I know, I know the league is really looking at uh, potentially all those issues, but right now I think this is the first year we've had four four games over in London, and I think uh, uh, it's been a good experience for the league, and next year there'll be uh, a lot of games here and in Mexico, so we're trying to grow, grow the game internationally. There's no question there are logistical issues, both competitively football-wise and, and, and physically, but I think the, that can be overcome potentially. What, what are some of those issues, the main issues of having a team here? Well, I mean, the, the distance is, is, is really sure. a, a big issue. Uh, potentially, you'd have to uh, maybe even have a base of operations in some form in the United States. But all, all those kinds of issues, uh, the league is really going to going to look at. What are your thoughts about just kind of where the team stands right now, five and two? And well, you know, I really like the way that t where the team is. Um, I know Coach Zimmer and Rick Spielman have done a great job in terms of. Uh, being about next man up, and I, I know we've talked about that, but I think this year I really have a good feeling in terms of what that means. Um, we've, we have faced adversity, but uh, the attitude of the team and our veteran and our leadership in our locker room is such that we just get out there and play the next play, and, and they're about their business. I think uh, the depth has improved considerably this year, so uh, from all standpoints, uh, we like where this team is, but uh, we, we're just about the next game, and I think that professionalism is starting to take hold here. And uh, this this team knows that you can't rest on any laurels, certainly in the NFL. So we're just about playing Cleveland Browns on Sunday. How much did last year sort of drive those points home about you know knowing that you can't take anything for granted, or just that, that you have to have the depth to weather the storms of the season? Well, no question. I think uh, Coach Zimmer preaches that, but I think what happened last year, uh, the players, you know, they understand it. Uh, you're right. I think it makes makes the point very clear to not take anything for granted. You spoke about adversity, um, particularly Teddy Bridgewater's injury, I think stands out as a, a particular adversity. Um, how does it feel to have him back on the practice field and on the verge of playing again? Well, it's a fantastic feeling. I mean, I know what this team feels about uh, Teddy, what we feel about him, and what our fan base does, but we're in a good situation here. I mean, Case Keenum's really stepped up, done an outstanding job. Um, Sam Bradford is a great quarterback. Teddy's a great quarterback. So. Uh, we're in a good position, but right now um, we're focusing on this week, and uh, uh, I know Coach Zimmer has the team team focused. Would you have interest in doing another? I mean, it was just four years ago when you went the last time. Would you have interest to do another London trip or Mexico, or at what's your interest level there? Listen, potentially, I, like I said, uh, we've had a great experience here so far here, and we, we will be supportive of the league's efforts on the International Series wherever we can. So uh, that could mean that, but like I said, uh, we're just focused in here on this week. Would you ever be willing to give up a home game again at U.S. Bank Stadium? Well, I think, uh, I know we have that possibility as an option, but uh, you know, we have such a great fan experience and we're trying to settle that in that right now we're just focusing in uh, as a road team this week. And again, we'll, we'll see where the road goes down the while, road. Well, um, one last US question, guys. While U.S. Bank Stadium was under construction, there was a little bit of speculation that you might have come over here um, in, and given up a game at TCF Bank Stadium. Was that ever on the cards coming over here during that time? No, we did come over during that time, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, sorry, after after the destruction of the Metrodome. And, and so, so between between oh. your last visit and now, was there ever a, a, an opportunity for you to come over there? Not really. Uh, it, you know, it also, uh, it's not necessarily just our call. I mean, the league the league has a lot to say on it, so it depends who the home teams are, and if we're even on their schedule. So, just uh, sometimes it's the way it works out. But the reality was. Uh, this was a good opportunity to come as a road team, and 
uh, be a good, good, good uh, game against. I mean, Cleveland Browns and Minnesota Vikings are two storied franchises. So uh, from that standpoint, we have great fan bases, and we have a lot of fans in the UK and in Europe. So uh, we're looking forward to a good turnout Sunday from them, hopefully.